All right, welcome to Tony Cools, uh, Fishing and 4x4 Touring. This is our first podcast, and I've got Gary Titterton from Hawkesbury Jewfish Facebook. It's a Facebook page that uh, you can join, and I've got him here today, and he's going to tell us all about it. Over to you, Gary. Hi, everyone. Gaz here. Just um, Tony's invited me along today. Uh, we're going to talk a few things about the, the, the Jewfish, the Hawkesbury River Jewfish. We're also going to talk about what we offer on this page, like we, yeah, monthly prizes, competitions, uh, rig setups, giveaways, yeah, things like that. So we're reaching the magic 9,000 member mark, so hopefully, you know, uh, very shortly we'll get to 10,000 and we'll, we'll have some good prizes to give away. You're doing well there with that. Yeah, it's yeah. something I just started up in... December 15 in 2018 and I just started it up just because I was, I thought no one's targeting the Hawkesbury Jewfish. Yeah, yeah. And it's such a sought after species so I opened up the page, invited 10 mates and we went from there um, and now, now you got eight, now 9,000 later. 8,900 and something yeah, from yeah, what I could see, yeah, yeah. It's just growing crazy every day. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy with the page. We It's a no-nonsense page. Um, we do stuff for the kids as well. All oh, right, And yeah. the seniors. Uh, we, go, we, 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 we try to run uh, two competitions a year, two major competitions a year, and we have um, really good sponsors on board. Uh, we do all that, and uh, we, we, we have uh, senior prizes, junior prizes, then we have our raffles and we give away some amazing prizes, amazing prizes. Yeah, that's yeah. good, yeah. Mm. So you've run two, you run two a year, so what, you've done four, four big uh, No, we've done or two, so, we've only done two so done far. Done the two, yeah. We've just done two. Uh, the first one, well, the first year we just got up and running, so we had one last year in uh, September. That's, yep. that's when the run of the Jewfish basically start to come back into the system uh and then a lot of guys says look well, let's have another one they all they all pestering me <laughs> saying come on gaz we need we, we need another competition yeah so we we did we did another one in march and uh we had another 120 competitors yeah so actually we we went for a fish on the on the sunday down at hawkesbury and it must have been the end of yeah. the last day of your comp yeah well we run it we run it from uh midday Midday Friday, yeah, all the way till lines up nine o'clock Sunday morning. Ah, right, yep, yeah, yeah. And yep. then we, because of the COVID stuff, we've got to be careful. So we we, we we don't we don't have a presentation. Yeah, if we do have yeah. a presentation, we actually have it on the water. So we'll get maybe whoever wants to come nine or ten boats around a circle. Yep, and we go from there because that means we're we're COVID safe. You know, yeah, so we're not yeah. touching anything or anyone. And we give away some great prizes too. Yeah, yeah. So you got like a ticketing system, they can they because it's all f- done by photo and all that happens measuring Tony, mats and yeah. What happens, Tony? They've got to have a um uh, a brag mat. So any brag mat, as long as you can understand and read it. Perfect example would be the New South Wales uh, DPI brag mat. They're, they're yeah. easy. They're clear yeah. as anything, and they're cheap. Yeah. Uh, DPI. Also help me out. They they uh they give me some some stuff to give away. They send me some brag mats, you know. So uh, yeah, they used to do that years ago. Yeah, well, they still do it. They they, uh, they look after uh, competitions like that. Uh, also with anyway with the ticket system, um, what it is, Tony. It's uh, first of all they join. It's it's thirty dollars, which is nothing for three days fishing, and then what they do is. I have a coloured system, so we try to stop all the all the cheats or anything like that that may want to think they doubling up on photos. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so for instance, they'll have their name tag. They'll have a piece of paper with their name, uh, their number, and then I'll have colours, three colours, and each day I choose a different colour, so they yep. don't know which colour is going to be next. Next. Oh, right. So they physically have to go onto Facebook or Messenger and say, what's the next colour? And then they've got to put the, put their name tag, the colour on the fish so yep. we can read it clearly and take a photo and send it to me. Oh, right. And I note, I note it all down. Uh, I'll get the measurements, note them all down, and you can catch as many fish as you want. 
Yeah, but yeah. They all have to be legal. It's got to be 70, centi- 70 centimetres and over. So what does it work on the biggest fish? No, well, we have, or... ca- we have categories. So the king of the Hawkesbury River Jewfish, as we call it, he'll be the one that's been out there fishing for three days and he may have caught five or six Jewfish. And yep. his total length will be the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Then we will have one for the biggest Jewfish. Yep. As longest, the, yeah. The, they're the longest. He's the he's like basically the the, the runner up, and then we go into categories: male, female, and oh, ju- right. junior male, Juniors, fe- yeah. junior male, female. Yeah. yeah. So last year it was it was one of the closest competitions. You know, one bloke was leading by a country mile, and then he caught maybe four or five two fish in one day. In one day, that's a good run. Isn't oh, it? mate, and he dropped a few more as well. Yeah, and. Uh, he, uh, and then the, the bloke that spent three days on there, he was he was about oh, a metre short. He needed a metre fish. But on the last day, on the last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, he rings me, Gaz, he says, I've done it. He got a 1.2 metre fish. You know, so it knocked off that other bloke. Oh, right. Yeah. And then there was a couple of other metre fish caught as well, so yeah. which, which was good. Your boys still fish? Yeah. Alec, uh, Quincy, Quincy comes out with me. We've... Uh, I took Quincy out. We actually, we had him on our uh, face cover of the face for August. <laughs> oh right, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, this we, is your that's that's the page. There, that's your yeah. page there. Yeah, that's, that's oh, we can't see the face there, but that's Charlie with a great. That's great, a nice Jew. Oh, it's a beauty. It's yeah, a ripper. Uh, that's for the month of this month. So each month, it's, it's talking about the photos. I I try and I, I mix them up. I put photos of uh, people that have got really nice, good photos. Oh right, fish, yep. And we put them on the page. Yeah, so that's good. Everyone once a month we swap it over. Um, yeah, Quincy, Quincy came out with me, and the, the amount of times Quincy's been fishing with me, you would know, Tony. Yeah, Quincy loves his fishing. Yeah, yeah. And he's um, like Anthony. Yeah, well, yeah, Anthony's a great fisherman as well, you know. Yeah. And then Qu- Quincy, when he gets the time, because he plays cricket, uh, it's pretty rarely that I get he gets time to come out with me. But when he gets time, he says, "Dad, take me fishing." So I, every time I take him, I catch the Jewfish. He never catches one. He might catch an undersized one. So this yeah. happened for about five years. And all of a sudden he said, Dad, come on. He said, uh, let's go. So Charlie, that fo- on the photo there, him and another mate were, um, were, 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 were fishing up in an area where, where we fish. And uh, <clears throat> they were in my spot. <laughs> He'll say they were about 20 metres away from it. But anyway, we went and fished alongside them just in another spot and... Um, they were there early in the morning. They had already had two chew fish on board. Um, they were both in the 90s, which were really good fish. And then uh, we started fishing and Char- uh, t- uh, um, Charlie gave us some nice palm size squid. He goes, he yep. used, used one of them. So I put it on and I put it on Quincy's rod. So I set up Quincy's rod. I baited it up. I casted it out. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it is with yeah, the kids. Yeah, along with, <laughs> along with five other rods that we had out, uh, <laughs> his rod goes off. Uh. Oh, God, crazy. Oh, but, yeah, I was so happy to see it for him. And that fish actually went right across the other side in front of Charlie and Dave, Dave's lines and came back and then just tangled up into their lines. So they had to actually just open their bales up, oh, uh, right. bale up so we could get our fish in. So when we got it, one was a nice 1.2 metre chew fish. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. Good tucker. Yeah. So I've got plenty of stories for up there. But um, yeah, she just goes, well, this, um, this chew fish. And it's a passion that I had years ago, you know, Daryl, our mate Daryl. And that's your page. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, do you want to have a look at the page? I'll, I can just. Roll through it a bit here while I've got it up. Yeah. Um, you on pause or are you still? No, going? no, no, no. Are we still going? So this is the page. So that's. So this is a spot. These are sponsors. That's what's on over there? That's one of your sponsors. Yeah. yeah. That's um, uh, Carl Ed from Extreme Fishing. Where's he based at? They're at uh, Guildford. Yeah. On they, Woodville on Road. Woodville Road. Yeah, yeah, I know the yeah. shop. Yeah, yeah. I go oh, past look, it. I, 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 first time I went in there, it was absolutely brilliant. Here's Jihad. He's from Flick and Fish. He's at Thornley. All oh, right, yeah, yeah he, he's there. He's on board as well. We have another one, which is uh, Mo. He's at uh, on duty bait and tackle. Uh, you're getting a bit slack lately, Mo. You're not putting up your advertising. <laughs> uh, these, are, these, that's uh, some some people just yeah you know, during the week they post yeah, up, yeah. They post up, post it, put their yeah. posts up. 
Yeah, a nice 82 centimetre jewfish there. Right. It was good. Yeah. It was a nice nighttime one. Yeah, that's just, just great. It's near the bridges too. Oh, you, you can't that's half a, tell, can that's you? That's a freeway bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some other good jewies there that people put up. Oh, they, they, right. put, they put them up pretty quite. Oh, there you go. All that I had ran a um, kids' competition for the school holidays. Oh, right. So every school holidays we have open open um, photos. So instead of just jewfish, anyone can post of, of any fish. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, on duty, bait and tackle and uh, extreme fishing gave me some prizes to give away. Yep. So those two, those were the two winners. Yes, yeah, so that young Summer and um, Matthew, I think it was. Oh right. Yeah, it's Carl Ed again. Yeah. He does a lot. Of, he does a lot of advertising. I try and tell him to limit it, but he just keeps going. He has the most amazing good bait. bait. Oh, yeah. Most amazing bait. Yeah. The best bait tackle shop uh, that I've sort of been into for bait. So, for so bait, this one, he's variation. based at on Woodville Road. Yeah. For bait variation, he's he's his second to none. You know? Yep. I yep. mean, they've got the other guys there as well. They do a great job, but he's constantly bait. Look at the size of that. Look, look yeah. At that. Those baits are beautiful. Good jupe, but good palm bait. Oh, mate. Yeah. I look at that and think, oh, how could I put that on a hook? I'd, I'd, Easy. No, I. You bake it, eat it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <I'd. laughs> oh, mate, it's beautiful. I go. Oh, I go live sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I. I yeah, we do. I've seen one of you. I had a quick look when Anthony had the page open. We do a couple of live videos just to keep the people, you know, sane, just to say yeah. what, what we're doing, and you know. Yep. Uh, that's uh, on duty bait and tackle. Yeah. I'd seen a picture of a barbecue you had at one of the shops. Well, well that was extreme fishing. They invited me over. Yeah. yeah. It was a. It was a. It was a great night. You know, yeah. They invited all VIP members, uh, guests, and it was such a great night. Really good food. Right, and, right. And yeah, yeah, really good people. And I met a lot of lovely people as well, which was which was fantastic. Yeah, it's a it's pretty good. So back here, I'll just go back to the page on the on the recording. So you I seen one where you had a photo of um <coughs> showing some people like some spots where they should I target do. I with do. some holes, yeah. I do. Um that was I look, I that that was yeah, that, that was up to the, uh, that was this was during the holiday week. They can put a photo of any, any yeah, yeah, if yep. they want. Yep. Uh, as, see that guy? He's that's a mid north coast. He's got our shirt on. Got our got our yeah, yep. Jupy shirt on. Ah, right. Yeah, that was up at Harrington. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you guys went to Harrington yeah, the other week. Yeah, he yeah. Caught it, well, we left on the Sunday, and he caught that on the Monday in the river. <laughs> no, no, got yeah, offshore. Got that on the beach. All oh, right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Good, good fish. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, young as. Yeah. That's some that's photos photo of people the, on the water. Yeah. Small, small jewfish. Yeah. Oh, she's small. That. Yeah. That's the sort of stuff we used to get up near the caravan. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, well, not that small, look, but many, many years ago, back in the you know late eighties, early nineties, it was only forty-five centimeters to keep a jewfish. Yeah, well, and they were that was up where we are. It's fresh water. Yeah, it was and that's bad. where the like the nursery is. Yeah, and they were, they were not it's unreal. Not, not, yeah, not bad. And that's um. Oh, there we go. That's that's uh, one of the marinas, Brooklyn Marina. Brooklyn Marina. Yeah, yeah. Brooklyn Marina. Yeah, uh, one of the boys that went went across the desert with me. Um, he got a block of land along there. He's only just moved out. At, at uh, Brooklyn, that's yeah. where he lived. Yeah, he lived there. For, they've lived there for years. Oh, that's a great place. They moved they're, up to Gosford with kids lovely. and soccer and they're lovely, all friendly, that sort. they're lovely, friendly people there as well. Yeah, you know. So it's, oh, this is the map I seen. Oh, uh, that's one. That's uh, that was that was actually a, a, a donated to us. All oh, right, from, from a uh, from a person. Yeah, it's always all those marks are. Oh, right. It's, yeah. just, it's just giving you some idea and where. Gives them an idea, yeah. On, on, and I try to tell the people, this is see what he's done there. He's pictured out on the roots of the of the jewfish, how yeah. they travel. Yep, yep. Right, and they're always travelling in what we call highways. So they'll travel in a, in a, in a on a road basically. Yep. And then they'll dart off and have a feed and things like that and go back onto the yeah, highway and then yeah. move, move again. They know where the bait goes. Well, that's right. Well, you've got to find the bait too. Yeah, that's you, find, you find the bait, you find the That's bait. the way I've sort of... I like flicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't bait fish. I actually... I'll tell a lie. I went for a bait fish with Anthony, but we went and parked on the other side of um, Danger Island there. Yeah. You yeah. know where the ferry comes yes, in? Yes, 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 yes. That big reef there? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we do it. We've done it right there over the years. We, yeah. you know, when we yeah, used to fish in the comps and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we used to do catch cats. Well, we found that originally. Good brim. We, we left the boat ramp there at Parsley Bay, mm-hmm. and it was that foggy we couldn't see, and we we're idling around. No. And I'm going, oh, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. And I just spotted a bit of land. I said, to Anthony, come on, just put the anchor down. Yeah. Anyway, we started fishing, and um. It started to clear, and I realised we're on the other side of Danger Island. We're opposite the wharf. That's yeah. how thick it was—the fog. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was an old comp we're in with Panthers. Wow. Years and years wow. ago, he was only a little kid. Yeah. Well, he's caught ten brim. Yeah. A good brim spot that. And he won the comp. <laughs> how good. Yeah, yeah. It was funny. How good. He beat me and Daryl, or did Daryl and I didn't finish fish? <laughs> no, I think Daryl. We, we were the brim Darryl, brothers, mate. Daryl was fishing. Oh, you might have been with him. Uh, I can't yeah. remember, but because yeah. the next time we fish there, next thing you know, Daryl pulls up and starts fishing uh, there with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sneaky days. The good old days, eh? Yeah, yeah. Good old days, eh? Is what those were. This is another. This is another um, uh, uh, sponsor of the page. That's Matt Turney. He's uh, he's got a. Uh, uh, a he, he does frames for windows, window frames and that. He oh. does windscreens. Sydney. Where's he based? Seven Hills. Oh, my yeah. mate's going to kick himself. Sydney wide. He's Sydney. just sent his windscreen. Mm. I had, That boat I had here the other night, yeah. I was welding, welding the, yeah. the holes up on. Yeah. He sent the windscreen up to Brisbane. Oh, God. Yeah, this boat could have done it for him. And, yeah, and he's apparently... <coughs> it's just got sent back on Friday, so yeah. Okay, yeah, well this is Matt. He does a great job. He, he donates a prize. He donates, oh, right. He donates about $1,000 worth of prize there. there and that's his thing, just yeah. windscreens or windscreen other work? There. Yeah. Just windscreens, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's, he's he's a good good sponsor. Oh, right. There's Mate, more. You could, you could, I could look uh, through here for ages. It's it's unreal, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, there's, a good, there's a good Dewey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good slabs. That's, I think that's, um, who's that? Go, go down a bit, just... No, the other way. Yeah, John. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. John, John Garrett. Good on you, John. Yeah. yeah he's excited that night. Uh, yeah, wow. that's a bit of a deformed. Yeah, and then we have to. There, there you go. There's, that's Mo from uh, on duty bait tackle. All oh, right. Yeah. Where are they based? At? He, he's on Mary. He's on Woodville Road as well, but he's at Marylands. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yep, Near the yep. Caltech service station. Yeah. yeah. They're well, both on the same side, aren't they? Same side. Yeah. Yeah, well, even right up the other end, you've got a complete angler too, haven't you? That's right. You've yeah. got that as well. You've got three tackle shops. Three tackle on, shops on and one road. One road, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. But these, I mean, complete angler don't do live bait nah. as good as these blokes do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mo and Khaled from Extreme, they work together, So yep. which is good. I mean, it's got basically people coming from Liverpool area, Campbelltown, they can call past. Yeah. See, Extreme Fishing, they're open like on weekends 24 hours. Oh, right. 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Mo's open as well. And then the guys that live out in Penrith Way, they can call him to flick and fish and see Jihad. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll get their baits there. As yeah. Well. So where's he up on the he's, highway? He's on Pennant Hills Road at yeah. Thorn Lake. Yep, <clears throat> yep. Near the, yeah, near the service station. Left-hand side. Left-hand side, you go park around the back. You take a left just before he shops. It's not like a four-wheel around. drive. Place there, I've yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, well, before that. Just oh, before right. that. Yeah, because there used yeah. to be a tackle shop there years ago. They did, yes, yes. I don't know yeah, what happened to it. I think no, well, I think they moved out. Yeah, I remember going there. Yeah. When I fished with Dougie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. back in those days. So it's going back a long while. You're going back, pl- you're making us look old, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we are old. There's, yeah, there's some good fish just uh, from... Oh, from, it's a flatty. Yeah, that would be, that would be holidays. Yep. Holidays. All right. So yeah, every as I said, every holiday, we we open up the page and we let them have all the photos they yeah. want. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, there's there's a couple of good. Look at that. Yeah, I'll go back how, to that. How, nice, how good, nice little that? brim. How good's that? Eh? Yeah, that's a uh, young Steve's boy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's, yeah, Steve Clements' young boy. Yeah, it's good. Good. And there's 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 our. Is that my shirt? There we go. <laughs> is Jihad doing a uh, promo? Promo, yeah. Got, got the Hawkesbury River Jewfish shirt on. Oh, here's the there here's the go. one off the the yeah. photo off the um. Yeah, that's Charlie. What a great. That's fish. off the top of the page that we come into. What a great fish. Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was just a brilliant fish. That. Yeah. So you've got, um, 
you've got coming up your your big <coughs> comp. I do. And you've had a um I'm gonna flick over to it in a sec, yeah. but um you've got a, a live bait tank with Mate. with a with a rod rod holder set up on it and, and cutting board the yeah. whole bit in one hit. Let me tell you. I'll, this bloke here we go, look. West okay, side, so I'll just hit that and it's called West Side Boating. Mate. West Side Boating, Sasha. What a lovely man, lovely gentleman, and all the work he does is just first class. It looks like he does some nice work he, on... Um, he does. He does kill tanks in the bottom of boats, I can see yeah, here. He does, he does everything. He does He does, He does. does kill tanks, he does the light... Look, he's a light bait tank, but he had, that guy didn't have... Obviously, it's just straight a, a aluminium, but he didn't want it powder coated. Yep. But all these tanks he powder coats, uh, yep. if you want them, and uh, they're great Jeez, I'll price, tell you what, that, that, that's looking going to look pretty good if I... Um, well... Buy one of those and stick it on the old half cab. If I when I start, I'm going to fix yeah. it all back up. Yeah, I got that one. I got one off him, uh, like that. Oh, oh, that's a bit bigger. I got, I got the one with wow. it. But I've got also got and see, we've got light on the inside. Yep. Uh, and it's got a snapper axe. I'm, I'm going to have to. I'm just trying to look here because this this one you've brought today. Yeah, I brought one in. I'll just, come out and we'll have a look. We'll video it a bit later and. Um, I'll put it in in here too, but he's got a beautiful um, rod holders. Jizzy, so he does um, anything to do with bait boat frames. See, he or does like he that. does all rod racks. Yeah, Jeez, he does some nice work. Yeah, he puts a lot of time into it. Yeah, ex You were saying he does wiring and he does wiring. He does uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, gel coating. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. He does. He's, he's a oh, jack- he does repairs. He's a jack of all trades. Basically, yep, yep. see, there's a boat he's, he's, he's set up. See, the, the light bait tank in the yeah, back he's there. Done a set of rods, yeah. rod, rod holders. Yeah, he's done, done does, does great work, right. Sasha. Yeah, fantastic. Look at that. There's another one. There's these clip on. Now, I wanted something. See, when I bought my boat, I wanted something that it came with a bait board. But at the end of the boat, there, you see left and right hand sides. I wanted something where I wasn't tight and squeezy because that's where I fish is in the corners of the boats. Yeah, yeah. So he's actually made it fit to measure for me so there's no way that I'm going to get cornered. Yep, you know? And yep. it's the right size, beautiful live bait tank. Geez, yeah. they're, a, they're a nice looking tank. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyone wants something, see Sasha. I'm to, and yeah, it's I'm a just... great price too. Great price. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. He's donated. He's donated one of them. And there he is, West Side Boating. Yep. Um, he's donated that. He's also donated a set of snapper racks that go fit on top of that. All yeah. Right. I'll, and, and, and we'll go out and do yeah. a little video on them later and yeah. have a bit of a look. Yeah, close to a thousand dollars worth of stuff. He's and donated. that's going to be a, a, a raffle, raffle raff, prize, is it'll it? It'll be raffled off, yeah, to, yep. a, to a winner. Uh, nice. But it was in the competition we. Um, we have uh, prizes for male, female, best fish, uh, king of the hawks. We all have different prizes. So, yeah, and then we have a raffle, which we got a lot of sponsors. Oh, he does some nice work here. Mm. Look at these. He's done seats. Yeah. Oh yeah, geez, yeah. that's yeah, he's amazing work. That looks like he's built the whole boat. Oh, I mean, maybe he has. I don't know. But or he's uh, made stuff for this boat. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I would say so. Wow. Mate, I like his work. Yep. Very impressed. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So uh, uh, then we have all those sponsors you've seen before on the Facebook page. Yep. They, they yep. all jump in and give away a, a major prize as well. Ah, right. You know, yep. So yep. All in all, with the competition we, we, we run, it's, it's, it's close to 10000 if not over 10000 worth of cash and prizes. Wow. $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, unreal, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Just, 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 and the 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 one coming up is. Um, have you uh, got a date yet? Yeah, we have. It's the twenty uh, seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth of November. All oh, right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's uh, as fishing starts at nine at uh, twelve twelve o'clock midday, yep. and lines down, and then. Uh, or maybe ten o'clock. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see what I see how I feel, uh, and then lines up at nine o'clock. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So you got three days of fishing. So that day I went fishing. I went with Anthony. I seen Bocky driving. He was in the comp too. He yeah. was driving out, and yeah. I rang him and said, "Where are you going?" He said, "I've been out fishing in your yeah yeah comp, in your yeah. comp yeah 
I said, I wish I'd known. I would have probably gone. A bit hard for us with the open boat. Yeah. That's why I'm going to look at getting the... Yeah, yeah. Revive the old half cab that's oh. been sitting around for about eight or ten years. If you get the good weather, like we're, we've been pretty blessed with two, the two comps we've had, and uh, they uh, they've been really good weather. Yeah, good yeah. Weather weekends, we haven't had a bad one yet. So touch wood, you know. Hopefully, it's well. My trick would be I'd take the um, take the camper and the boat. And if the weather goes crappy, we just pull the boat out and absolutely like we did up at yeah. Lake Macquarie. Yeah, yeah. that's all you got to do. Mate, that was a bad storm up there. I know. It was pretty hey. bad. I was lucky I was in my boat. Yeah, well, if yeah. you don't have a half cab, but yeah. we're only in the bass boat. Daryl was in his boat, his big boat, and he he's, s- he's still got a little bit wet. Yeah, because he's only got a small yeah. cab, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So uh, other things we do too, Tony, is we, um, we do merchandise. Yep. So uh, we are, uh, well, as you can see, I'm wearing, we've got a Hawkesbury River Jewfish shirt on. Yep. This was just a sample one. But, uh, we decided not to go for this set, this style. We've gone for a another different style. Uh, it's actually on the Facebook page, but uh, trying to find it, you have to scroll for forever. Trying forever, to find, yeah. Trying to find it. I uh, did. I did see something yeah. about your merchandise when I was. I, I work. I work, I'm not a big. I worked together with with um, with one of the one of the uh, blokes on the page who has his own business. He's had his own. Uh, Line of stuff that he does, and yep. here we go. There we go. Look at that. All that, right, that, I'll bring that up. That's our. That's your, that's your merchandise. Yeah, that's our new new design for the shirts, and we've also got floppy hats to go with it. All oh, right. Yeah, so I, I can't wait. They're they're coming in shortly. They're, they're hopefully this month. They'll be they'll oh, be right. the end of this month. What's the dollar prices on all this? Oh, well, your, your your shirts are sixty five dollars. Yep, they are fifty fifty percent. Uh, uh, sun sunblock UV yeah UV yep UV and the hats same as the hats 50, 50 UV rated as well ah right yep I, and I can tell you I've got the black shirt at home I wear that when I go fishing you don't even feel hot in it yeah no the the, the material is first class ah right yeah, yeah so and look if you go and buy if you want to go and buy a good shirt like that. At fifty rated, you're paying a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy hundred dollars in, yep. in in your top top stores, right? Oh, right. And the hats are the hats are fifteen dollars or twenty dollars or something like that. You know, you, to buy a UV hat, they're thirty three. I've, I've priced them all. They're all $33, yeah, 35 yeah. dollars. You know, so the, the, this is good value. And this is through your mate, one of the guys in the. This, well, it's from yeah. I've I've done so much work with him before. Before those, we had hoodies for winter. Oh, right. We yeah, had hoodies and beanies. Yeah, and once again, everyone that's bought them, it, uh, they're just so warm. You know, yeah. Yep, sometimes yep. you've got to take them off you that warm. And yeah, we had beanies and had had some beanies as yeah, well. Right. Yeah, six sixty dollars. Yeah, then you get 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 some good stuff. Yeah, yeah. We get some good stuff coming in. Um, we're just trying to work on other things, but uh, you know, give it time. We've got the hats, we've got the beanies, we've got the. We got the uh, hoodies, we got the shirts. So who knows? Next in line might be some uh, mug cup holders or something like that. Yeah, you know, who knows? Well, there's a picture of. <coughs> I'll bring that back up. There's, there's a picture a, of the bridges in case anyone from overseas or in the states watching. Yeah, that's that was, the um. That's the that's, that's, that's the old uh, freeway bridge. Yeah, that's the old one. Yeah. yeah, and the old bridges on this side, which is still in use. Correct. That yep. get you over to Brooklyn. That bridge. And then yeah. on the other side of that bridge is the other bridge. Yeah. So you've got two bridges. And then you've got your other rail bridges. The railway bridge, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. There's beautiful fishing areas. Yeah. yeah. Anyone ever yeah. coming from overseas and get up to the Hawkesbury River. Oh, it's yeah. a big river, isn't it? Oh, it's massive. Well, it comes all the way to... Massive. Well, it's very... Ca- up well, it comes all the way up, the way up and then becomes Napoleon River. Up to North Richmond. Which I did a um, I did a video at, on fishing down at uh, down the Napoleon River the other week that yeah. I put up on my yeah. YouTube yeah. Page and um, is that the day I seen you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that one yet. You haven't no, showed no. me. No, it's up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Have to have a look. Yeah, come up. All right. Did, yeah. I, did, I, did I make an? In- in- no, I didn't put you in oh, anything. Oh, you, no, mate. you're too noisy. Yeah. <laughs> no? So yeah, we um, that's good. Yeah, we did that one and uh, put it up and talked about the river and. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. It is a nice river. Now, Pan's Fent, and Pan River is beautiful. But well, since that last flood, though, it's just washed a lot of stuff away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's going to need 
possibly a couple of years to recover. You know, yep, yep. Because yeah, the the fishing should be firing right now, and and it's not. You know, so yeah, uh, probably a lot of the weeds. Yeah, a lot of it flushed out. A lot of the weeds been pushed out of the river, and oh, I noticed. I went up there the other day, um, and all these bubbles, gas bubbles. I wow, I seen so, that when we were there, mate. It was. Up further, where we used to go right up, it was just bubbling like I, th- like I think that I think that's because of the the water that's come out and been pushed down from the flooding. I don't know. I mean, people are saying uh, something happened a long time ago right up river, and there was uh, like poisonous gases or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard something, uh, so I'm, I'm I'm a little bit worried because there was bubbles everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. I, Anthony said, "Oh, see the bubbles there." He said, "That might be turtles." I said, yeah, uh, but geez, they're bubbling for a long uh, time. Well, there, yeah. there, there, well, I said that I did catch a turtle the other day. Uh, the uh, old, the old four wheel drive. <laughs> but <laughs> having said that, mate, uh, I was, and I would really like whoever, if someone's watching this, uh, you know, let us know what it is or what you think it is. Cause yeah, just so much there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that. That river, for people that don't know, it starts at the ocean there, which is at Palm Beach yeah, uh, and Gosford. Yeah, it runs yeah. all the way up. Changes name at the first rapid at uh, North Richmond. That's correct. And becomes an Nepean River and that's runs all the way down to the back of the south coast. That's right. And it's got it's got Warragamba, which spurs off up the Cox River. And yep, that's right. Warragamba River and all that. I think it's Warragamba River. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I think there might be a different name for it. Cox. It's well, it's part of the Cox flows into it, yeah. and then you got um, where it goes the other way, Nepean. It runs up to all the dams, which you got oh, no. yeah. Avon, Cordo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cataract, and Nepean Dam, all all hooked onto it. Yeah, if you're driving down the Princess Highway, you're driving over the Nepean River bridges. Yeah, you know? yeah, massive, massive. Hey, so it's a big water system. Massive. Yeah, a lot of people river. don't realise it goes back that far. Duh. Yeah, it goes back. Like you can be on the, you can be going to Newcastle, cross over the river, and then. Get down to Wollongong, yep. and those dams are up behind you in the hills. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or when right. you're going down the freeway to Melbourne, you cross the river. Yeah, look, it's we got we got. It's a long, we, well, long I reckon river. we've got you know, the most beautiful waterways. Yeah, in New South hundred. I think it's hundred and twenty odd mile long or something. Oh, is yeah. it that long? Yeah, wow. I think so. Wow. We did a we did a fish up Lake Lyle the other. Yeah, that's nice. The other place week. too, Lake Lyle. Couldn't get a trout. Yeah. Been flooding up there though. Yeah, but a lot so, of redfin. Yeah, well, that's what we got in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah we used to go. We used to go there. And it's a beautiful spot. You should see the camping set up near. Yeah, we used to go to Willera Ring as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, well, that's um, Lake Wallace. Yeah, up at Wall- yeah, remember the days we, we used to go there and catch. Well, we we did. We, we, we was, sat on the bank there. Right sat next. on the bank. Yeah, <laughs> sit, sit in your chair. You can turn off there. Off at um, take the Wirralang turn. Yep. Just go around to Lake Wallace, and you can just pull up in your car and get your chair out. That's throw it. a rod in the water. Yeah, I remember those days too. Yeah, yeah, you caught can some, still do it. Yeah. I caught some good trout there. Yeah, caught some real good trout. But yeah, oh, those are the days. But it's too cold. For, I'm getting too old for that sort of stuff now. I stick to me dew fishing. I love that. All oh, right, you yeah. can hide hide up the front of the boat when it's a bit cool. Yeah, yeah. See when I'm well, I you know it's so peaceful when you're chasing dew fish because you're not you're just targeting one fish. Yeah, right. And you're not trying to change baits for this and change baits for that. You've got one fish, you've got one, you've got one fish you're targeting, you've got four rods, that's what you're allowed, and you just sit back and do you, wait. Do you yourself go and chase any live bait at all, or you mainly buy uh, it? No, no, well, depends. Yeah? It just depends. How much time you got to? Uh, that, that's it. Uh, I, I'm fortunate enough, I know a few people, I know a couple of trawler guys. Uh, yep. Um, and, the, and the tackle shops as well, they look after me. Uh, but yeah, failing that, we might go up to West Head and and and, and, and get some some liveys or yep. or just between West Head and, and and Palm Beach there, uh, Baron Joey, you, you can drift for some squid. You know, yeah, so, yeah. So when they're on, they're they're like they're, they're, there. they're thick as yep. anything. Yeah. Failing that, we'll get what well, me and me mate, well, Daryl, will go for a trip up to uh, Lake Mac and uh, do some squidding up there when they're on. All yeah, right. We get our bag limits, come back, come yeah, back, and we use them for baits as well. Yeah. All right. Arrows, beautiful. Beautiful baits. Yeah, yeah. But you can't beat the, the fresh Hawkesbury squid. It's just... Yeah. yeah it's you used to be able to buy fresh Hawkesbury squid out of the news agent there, but it's shut now, I Jeez. noticed. Uh, not now. That's no. a few years ago. Yeah. I used no, to go in there and <coughs> he, he'd get it off the trawlers and then 
in at bites. Bro- at Brooklyn, eh? At Brooklyn, yeah. Yeah, no, no, uh, that's sort of... We've got a sponsor there, uh, Brooklyn Central, who uh, is, a, is a... What a, sort of shop's that? Is well, it's a marina. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah yep. Brooklyn Central. And it's a massive shop. Uh, is that where you're opposite the pub? No, no, no. As you're coming in... As you're coming along the road to Brooklyn, you've got that uh, one Brooklyn... You've got the big marina, and Brooklyn Marina, it's called. It's got the petrol bowsers. Ah, right, that yep. One, that, that's Brooklyn Marina. Yeah, yeah, uh, And yep. he sponsors our page for us. And ah, right. uh, he's now starting looking at possibly getting some live baits as well. Yep. Some live prawns and uh, fresh prawns. So for fresh yeah. horse, be prawns, some squid. So hopefully that happens. All ah, right. Uh, there's going to be a business there for actually, everyone. Actually, one of my old customers... Um, at a fish shop, he actually sold the fish shop and then went and um, he brought a trawler up there and does a bit of trawling. I don't yeah, know whether he's still, he's still doing, doing it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's, look, yeah. Everyone curses the trawlers up there. I, 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 I mean, look, they've got a job to do. It's yeah. like you and me, we've got jobs. That's their livelihood. That's their job. As long as they stick to their, their limits, Yeah. I'm happy with that. But there's a couple of them there that are real nasty, right? And if you're fishing in their in their way, they'll just run over the top of you. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've already had one running with one bloke. Yeah. You know, he goes, "Oh, you fishing there?" He just took our lines. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. 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 Just, 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 just been stupid. Well, see where where we are up. You've been in my place up on the Hawkesbury. Yeah. Many many years ago. Yeah. Well, that's the last point they're allowed to trawl. One day I'm going to get a. I'm going to get a Christmas invite. Oh, right. <laughs> with yeah. Bocky in that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. year you have a... Daryl's always coming back and saying, oh, I'm just so full, I can't eat anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have a bit of a big day of it, yeah. yeah. No, that's a great... Well, place. that's Boxing Day, yeah. Yeah, that's a great place. Yeah, there, yeah, it? mate. Where you got that... Well, that's the last point they're allowed to trawl on the Hawkesbury. Oh. At that, is that Lower Portland that, Ferry. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Lower they all trawl there for prawns. Yep. Um, and they do quite well. I know they do when they're on, but they don't. They don't seem to bring up anything much else. It's just no, no. Well, they they know where to target them. I've got one one of the trawlers that I I uh, who looks after a lot of the bait shops, and he I'm going to actually be going out with him one day. He says, "Oh, when the prawns are getting bigger, he says, uh, I generally that's when they're on. We generally boil them up on deck." He said, "You can come out, so I'm going to go out and and see how they do it all." Oh, right. Yeah, see if there's any. Uh, um, the bycatch, but they've got, that, that, yeah, that, that they do all right. They they do pretty good, and they they look after the. Uh, if there's stuff in there that they're not supposed to have, it all goes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they're pretty oh, good. sometimes you see the, the trawler guys. They get the little flounder. Yeah, up where we yeah, are. Yeah, they just straight back in. If the birds don't get them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're always hanging around, the birds. Yeah, oh, you don't really see them <clears throat> following up where we are, though. See, it's a bit different. But they've had it tough too. Don't forget, they oh, had well, all those floods. Well, that just wiped them out. Those oh, guys that trawl up near us, if you want to know where it's all happening, mm. you'd have to go and find where they're trawling way down river because yeah. until the prawns move back, yeah, because the fresh water flushes them. Oh, but yeah. I've talked to guys that was terrible that that have. That have caught prawns at uh, Windsor Bridge, like when the salt 40, 40 odd. Well, my yeah. cousin was getting bloody flathead and brim up there that's, when we in, right. in the drought. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we get we get flathead where we are, and it's fresh water. We get flathead, dewy, brim, brim. Oh, I get a lot of brim mullet. and yeah, mullet, mullet, fresh and and you get your bass and your estuary perch all in beautiful, all in the one area. Yeah. Lovely spot. Don't 10, 15 minutes downriver, the water gets brackish. Okay. Yeah. That's generally around. Uh, get around Dad's Corner. Okay. On the Hawkesbury. So, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. It's, a, it's a great system. Well, that's where, if you go there, you'll you'll get Jewfish, Some probably. Little soapies. Yeah, 300, 350 yeah. long. Yeah. But you will pick the occasional. Anthony picked up the four kilo one yeah, there yeah, you'll, 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 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, winter time's the best time up river for for the juice. So, yeah. But this winter we had the floods, so it sort yeah. of it sort of oh, it put, a damp, down, yeah. put a dampener on things. Uh, but there was quite a couple of fish caught up river uh, when the floods were on as well. One guy yep. got a lovely metre metre two fish. Yep, yep, beautiful. Yeah, yeah at uh, Gunderman. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So 
so. That's where I caught that big flatty that time That's you were with right, me. I when, I, when I yeah. flicked in into, into that, that, that little, little creek yeah, don't, with don't, a soft re- plastic, one remind, cast. Don't remind me, Tony. Uh. <laughs> you know how many times I've been back to that place? I've been back plenty of times. I've been back there a couple of times and had a flick yeah. and got nothing. Yep, same. Made me look good. Same. <laughs> On the day. It was, what was it, two kilos or something? What oh, it's a good, good yeah. size. Yeah. yeah, it was a cracker. Yeah. Yeah, so. She was a good fish, mate. She, she, yeah. She's brilliant. So. Um, what else? Uh, look, we have um, uh, a lot of guys when they get on the page. They're, they're, a lot of the questions that come on is um, how how we uh, set up for for, for Jewfish. One day we might do another podcast or something. Tony. Yeah. Um, but I did a video on on, on uh, a live feed one night and showed them how to how, how to do to, the rigs uh, and that. Well, how to do a snell rig. You know, yeah, so yeah. It's most probably one of the easiest rigs to do. Well, I, people I'd, get I'd noticed. Um, uh, you ever heard of Alex Bellissimo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock well, rock he's rock, a yeah. real big rock fisherman. He's he's just started up a YouTube page, and it has he. And he, yeah, doing doing, he's doing uh, his rigs as well. Doing his rigs, yeah. yeah. Oh, good on him, you know. Yeah, well, that's that's totally different types of rigs. Yeah, he's you know? he's got about five hundred subscribers or something. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going all right. Yeah, he's good old Alex. Saint. Yeah. Actually, it was one of our prizes last year. We gave away a day's fishing with, with Alex. Oh, right, yep. Well, two blokes, well, one of the admins on my page, uh, uh, Andrew, he uh, he and a mate uh, uh, bought a, a day out and there was for three people. Yep. So they donated that they donated that third spot for a prize. Yeah, oh, to, right, to go yeah. Fishing. yeah. Yeah. Hasn't happened yet because yep. of the COVID. Ah, yeah, right. So the, the, actually the, the guy on the... Cover page, Charlie. He he's the one that won it. Oh right, yeah, Charlie, yep. You know, the cover page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'll see if I can oh. find him back here somewhere. Oh, he's at the top of the page, mate. You have to go Mariah all the way back up. Oh yeah, but I just we had that full, oh, there full he is. shot. Go back. There he is. Yeah. I'll just bring that back up. He, Actually, I'm. I've never mucked around with Facebook, but I'll just. Uh, that's Batonga in the background. There you go. Um, he didn't catch it there, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and that, it looks like he's got a couple of nice uh, rod. He's got some snapper racks there. Which, Is that off the same guy? No, no, these you can buy in your shops. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't like the ones he's got. I've got those as well, but that's just a straight snapper rack. Yep. Whereas the snapper rack I've got, uh, are separate ones, uh, is I can adjust them to, oh, my, to right. my height. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. But now I've got the, the bait board and the new snapper rack. I just sit back, just put the rods in the snap rack because it goes out like a V. Yep. And Frank, oh, it's been brilliant. Yeah, I'll take a couple of photos of that. Um, brilliant. That <coughs> tank you got be- in, best you brought over. Ever, best thing I've ever invested in. Yeah. I spent a little bit of money, but hey, it's it, 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 it's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, uh, and actually, the guy who took that photo was uh, Ron Osman. Ron's uh, he does the um, Hawkesbury River fishing charters. Oh, right, yep. Uh, Ron and I, last year, we put on a prize, a day out with him. Yeah, yeah. all right. We, Hawkesbury Jewfish paid half and Rod, Rod, Ron put in the other half. Yep, yep. Yeah, so. Oh, that's good, isn't it? For four people. Yeah. yeah Valued something up around, up near the $1,000 mark. You know, so, all right. Yeah, so it's pretty good prizes. You've got a pretty away. good page going here. Oh. Hey? People love it. Yeah. People love it. Yes, yeah, so I put a post up last night. I said, "Oh, Jesus, geez, guys, we're doing pretty good here." I said, uh, "Once we hit ten thousand, I'll, I'll see if we can um, give that lucky person, that ten thousandth person, a, a really good prize." All oh, right. And another bloke, some of the comments was, and bloke made a good idea. He says, "Well, oh, maybe how about the first ten people into the ten thousands, give them a prize." So uh, the, the tackle, I, I, I um, uh, told the tackle shops, and they all, they all said, "Yep." We'll uh, we'll donate something. All oh, right, yep. We'll donate something. So yeah, yeah. So and this, oh, I didn't tell you. This month we've got uh, uh, we've got some cash. We got a cash prize this month. All oh, right, for the month of October. Yeah, yep. we're giving away four hundred dollars cash. All oh, right, two hundred dollars for juniors. Yep, and two hundred dollars for seniors for the biggest fish, the longest, oh, fish, right. the longest fish. Yeah, yeah. Once again, it's got to be on a brag map. And yeah, with, and with the words October twenty twenty. Yeah, 
on, on written on a piece of paper and the photo taken. All right. So they better take a pen in their tackle box. That's and a, and a, bit, of, and a bit of paper. <laughs> and a bit yeah, of paper. It's my rules, and they've got to do it yeah. properly. And let me tell you, just quietly, 143 centimeters was caught yesterday. Oof. Yes, it's going to be hard. Size. It's going to be hard yeah. to knock off. Yeah. Hard to knock off. That's a good size. Anyway, uh, but there's, 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 this guy's bait. It's just yeah, I'll just it's, flick oh, back to that. Lovely. Yeah, we're just looking at that. He's, um, just, he's got just brilliant bait. Okay. <laughs> we got a oh. crap load of fresh limeys, guys. Uh, yeah, look at that. Beach worms, beach, beach worms. worms. Open this, open this. What's all these buckets? There's your fresh prawns. Fresh prawns. It's got a young live bait tank there for live prawns. Yeah, live yeah. lobsters. Look, 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 look at the nippers. They've just come in. Wow. Live lobsters. He calls them lobsters. They're nippers, guys. They're nippers. <laughs> live nippers. Live oh, uh, yabbies. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, There's one bucket. There's two buckets. What else do we have? You Can watch, what he's, got. watch what he's huh? got. Hey, Nathan, the phone. Oh, we right. got live tube worms. We got more live lobsters down here. We got more live tube worms down here. Oh my heart, look at all the lobsters we got. <laughs> Guys, wow. we got trays they, and trays and trays they of live yabbies. They sell so much. Yeah. This one's gone in no time. Live lobsters. The yabbies, guys, they, I call them lobsters because they're that big. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. Look. Here. What's in here? Fresh hawkshby squid. Ah, right. What's this one? This is fresh green eye calamari. Look at this. Look at that. That's fresh green eye calamari, guys. Wow, we don't have much left, man. <laughs> And we got big ones for strips, fresh green hot calamari as well. And then they got all the next. Guys, we've got all, all your all fresh frozen. Freshly frozen. Green eye and wow. calamari in this freezer here. It's freaking half empty. So that's their big turnover, all their fresh stuff. Right here, let's check out yeah. the front. Look. It's got a good shop. Yeah, look. Here we go out the front. <laughs> 302 34 Bait Cop, you're a legend. <laughs> uh. Fresh pillies. How are you, buddy? Fresh pilchards. Guys, fresh yakas. It's a long weekend, guys. Everyone be safe on the roads. Highway patrols are everywhere. I'm telling this from now. They're everywhere. Fresh yakas. Wow, that's crazy. Fresh pilchards. Fresh empty tray. <laughs> uh, another, what else do we have? Look, I'm go just going around showing you all the bait. We got all your bait, blocks, prawn, Hawksby prawns, mullet. So he does burly. All your frozen pillies, salted yeah. and burly unsalted, bombs. one kilo, four hundred. Yep. We got all your banana prawns, the best stick way. with parmesan. Yeah, yeah. S stick it in your thing. Stick it in and let it melt. Fresh frozen squid, yeah. get the bottled. Yeah, bottled squid. We got squid. your squid. We Love got your squid. worm trays. Beach worms. Yeah, your worm trays. <clears throat> so if you don't want live, worm trays. No problem. We got them in small, we got them in large. And we got your block pillies with your lung squid. Yeah, it's a good, good tackle shot. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Guys, extreme fishing. 302, 304 Woods Road, Guildford. We are 24 hours until Monday night. That's correct, guys. That front door does not close until Monday night, midnight. So we he are 24 hours. 24 extreme hour over the not weekends. closing in this long weekend, oh, right. starting from yep. tonight. It is not closing. We will not close the front door just to serve all the customers. Guys, 302, 304 Woodford, Guildford. I'll see you all when I'm looking at you. I'm so busy, I'm flat out, I gotta go. Love is, but I gotta leave you. Yeah, that's Khaled. He's, ah, he's, right. he's a cracker. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was good. I'm glad I played that. Yeah, he does um Yeah. He, he does a lot of videos for the for the page. Yep. I gotta, I gotta keep on to him all the time because I just tell him trying to tell him he, he can go on for six, ten minutes. I say, listen. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good they put up um, <clears throat> put up prizes and that for you. And yeah, they do. Um, they do. Yeah, they they, they, they do. They, they they look after us. You know, so we, we we've got the guys there. Just 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 just. And there's a, oh, here we go. Yeah. I'll just go back to this. Put that put that one in. This is Sydney fly fishing. All oh, right. Yep. He has donated a day a day's. Days, oh, right. uh, yep. Yep. fly fishing for yeah. us yeah, as a prize. Oh, that's good, yeah. I can't believe it. You know, some of these guys are just coming out of the woodworks. 
So that, that, that's another well, good price. Pa- your page is working well, oh, then. Oh, it's really well. Yeah. But there's no other page on, on uh, no other Facebook page uh, for, for New South Wales that are giving yep. away prizes like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I've put a lot of work and effort into this page. Yeah, you've done um, well. Um, as I say, I take no no crap on the page. Yeah, uh, I've, yeah. I've seen that, yep. So there's, a, there's one guy, something disturbing last weekend. I just got rid of him straight away. Yeah. You just don't want Well, to you can ban him too, can't you? Well, you do. You do. You just block them. Yeah, you block them. Um, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of nice Jewies there. Yeah, and I'll just go back over to that and bring them up. Yeah, some nice, 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 nice Jews. A couple of soapies. They're not, they're not all that big, but hey, yeah. you know, for kids catching them. Brilliant. Yeah, good on them. Brilliant, brilliant. You know, it's, it, it, yeah, that, that, that's, that's great work. Mate, because, keeps them out of trouble when they're fishing, doesn't it? It does. It does. And I, I think it's I, the best thing ever. I try to make this family orientated, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of other fishing pages on, on that, uh, you know, it's not. Uh, the swearing it carries on and all that. I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. So nah, I make that pretty clear to them, so they all know that. I try to. Um, <clears throat> I try to make sure I don't swear when I'm making the videos. You know, yeah, it's just, tough. It's hard. It's sometimes you'll swear. We, we all swear. Look, I don't mind the guys saying the f word here and there. You know, but you just try to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah which I've is got, good. I've got because I've got a. I've got. A, I've got a lot. A lot of women. A lot of kids. Uh, there's our. Yeah. There's our. Um, all right, I'll, I'll, our, our hoodie. I'll bring that oh, up. Oh, that's just our logo. That's your logo. Well, well, that is that is actually a hoodie. I I looked at this logo a while ago when Anthony had the page open, yeah. and, and I went, "That's, the that's well here. done with uh, the bridges in the, the background." And, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sarah Sarah did that for me. All oh, right. So Sarah, she now, she now she, well, she lives up in um, Townsville. All oh, right, a bit good bit of artwork that. Yeah, she's done she's done really well. Yeah. Um, there's uh, some more Jewfish caught there. Yeah, I'll just bring that up. That was uh, come back over. Billy, Billy, mate, Billy and his mate just uh, got a, landed a couple of nice fish there. Oh, meet, right. Meet, meet a Jewfish. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's Billy. Lovely. It's in his new boat. Oh, it's good. Nice fish, eh? Yeah. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some good fish shows on our page. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, it's good to see, you. and you got blokes can talk about and help you yeah. with things, and yeah. like you can, if someone wants to know a question, you'll talk to them and oh, help me out. I, yeah. I, I, there's our beanies. Yeah, I'll just, that, that's our beanie. Hang on, I'll just bring that up. That's the Hawkesbury Jewfish beanie. Here. Yeah, uh, that, that's that one. That was good for winter. Fantastic. So, who was doing all your artwork? Your... Yeah, Brian, a bloke named Brian from Valor Printing, Valor. Um, Valor is the name of his company. Yep. He does all my work. And I need... Look, I can get stuff cheap yep. if I wanted to. This guy, it's all quality. Yeah, yeah. It's all quality. You know, so you pay that little bit and you're still getting good good, good, good bargain prices. Yeah, yeah. Um, unbelievable. Uh, there we go. Look, there's some... Uh, uh, some... some, some so it shows you the bottoms. It's, yeah, that's all around the. Uh, that's ra- um, the road bridge, I think. That's Navionics. Yeah, shot that one. The railway bridge could be the, yeah. road, the yeah. railway, railway, railway or road bridge. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the actually that's the railway. Bridge. A lot of people don't realise, but if you if you Google Navionics, you right. can you can actually get it up on your computer <laughs> and go in and have a bit of a look. There's a uh, you can go to the chart without having to. Buy. It's the best thing since sliced bread, and that yep. tells you where all the lines are and where all your highways are, the yep. depths, all the holes. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, you know? no, it's... And this um, is what my main thing is to, to, to some of the people that message me. They say, oh, where's a good spot to go fishing, Gaz? Do your homework, guys. Oh, that's right. Just just you know, just log on and log on the Navionics and, and have a look, and it'll, it'll show you. While we're having a chat here, I'll see if I can um, bring it up. So, I mean, I use it. Yeah, I, I've got it in my in my sounder, <clears throat> but I've got an old card. Um, okay, I don't have. It. Actually, actually, I should get that for mine. Okay, for mine. Right, what I'll do is, you, I'll bring this up in a sec. Now, this is, I'll just flick over. This is called Chart Viewer. You, I just Google Navionics then, right? Yep. Now, I'll show you guys how to do this, right? Now, here's wow. the, here's the two bridges, right? 
Now, there's a that'll be a whole layer. It uh, probably you find the lighter colours are deeper. Um, see, there's I'd say that's eleven metres. So you just like you said, that like oh, what have I done then? Yeah, that's that's uh, see that's around Snapper Rock there. That's good yeah, place. well, you're you're talking. In that other map you were showing on your page, yep. right? You were showing this is a highway yeah, along that's here, right? Yep. Right. Well, exactly. That that there's deeper. There's a hole there. Yep. That's all you do. I mean, you can if you've got an avionics in your boat, you can look at it while you're there. But it's pretty deep that area. Very deep. And look, you, you, your main jewfish yeah. you're going to catch. All right. See, here's bar point. Look <clears> at this big hole. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a lot of trawlers trawl up and down that. See that that's like twenty two metres. That's, that's massive. That's, it's massive. That's deep. Uh, actually you sure that's metres? That might be feet. Nah, this is in metres at the moment because I if I'm playing around with the page, I change it to feet. I can't I'll recall, just I can't, what I'll do here, I'll accept. I just can't recall that uh, that massive hole being twenty two metres deep. That's oh, sixty six feet. Sorry guys. I'm just I'm just trying to get rid of this bit here. Oh, yeah, I've got to agree to I consent to cookies. So, okay, into the menu. I'll go into settings here, right? See, this is a bit of a lesson for everyone. I go into units. I'll, I'll go into feet now. Right, okay, yep. now we're in feet, right? Okay. Now, I'll we'll come back into that one up at bar point. Um, a little bit more left. A bit up here. There it is. Right? There. Now, that's 72 feet deep. I don't think that's correct. That's what they're saying there. That's just that little bit along that. Yeah. So you got 39 feet. See, so look at that. All those areas around Bar, bar Point. Do you see that reef there? It's just... Yeah, that's Milson Island. Now, while we're here, let's... I'll, I'll show you an inside trick that I knew about since I was a kid. We'll go down to Sydney for a sec. Right. Um, and I'll just show you a spot... Up at Abbotsford, right? I knew this as a kid, right? They were going to build a bridge across here, oh, right? Wow. Okay. There was talk when I was a kid that originally they knew that there was underwater caves somewhere. Yeah. And then they said they couldn't find them from divers back maybe in the 30s or 40s. Yep. Yep. But this hole here, it's 80, 90 feet deep. Right now, I'll tell you the, right now, that ferry goes. Oh, there's no ferry there, is there? That's down further, isn't it? What's that? The, ferry. uh, the ferry's just here. Yeah, yeah. More, more, more like ferries there, there yeah, right? Yeah. But I'll just show you back here. Now, right there, probably in this area just here. Yep. So there's a deep hole there. In this area here is where I caught a dewy on on a soft plastic vibe, mm. and let the cat out of the bag and just come in here. This is where Anthony caught his flathead. Okay. Right right about there. And it's only, that's only 12 feet. That's Hen and Chicken Bay. That's Hen and Chicken Bay, yeah. yeah. But there you go. That's, that's showing you how to use Navionics, guys. So there's another little lesson. Yeah, um, brilliant. People can, you know. Yeah, should, they actually should have the app on their phone is, is the best way. Well, yeah, you can – yeah, you pay for it. It's yeah. like – um. Yeah, I've got a couple of blokes. I can. I got. A, I got Hema maps. I got a Hema map thing from a car, mm. but you can also get that. You can buy a Hema maps and put it in a tablet or in your phone. Yep. When you're out four wheel driving or whatever, yeah. Mm. So. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. They are. It's it's good to have. Yeah. Like even my card that's in my um, sounder, it's fifteen years old. So even, say, Nepean River, those boys that are in Nepean River aren't even on my card. They're not, no. But mine if you are. go and look at Nepean River now... Mine are, yeah. It's, it's on there. Yeah, mine are. So I, I need I, to update my avionics, but... I have to do mine... Well, what happens with mine? I've got the Lorance TI, the TI 5-inch, and what it does is it 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 shuts you down and it, it basically won't turn on for you, and that means that you've got to update... Your software. So I went, for instance, I went fishing at Swansea once, right? Yeah. I don't even mean when you were there. I went in, turned the sounder on, nothing. Blank? Blank. 
no, wouldn't wouldn't work. And it says update, update, update. update Mine mate, flashes update. Well, I, update. I don't want to sound rude here because I don't use my mm. Lawrence anymore because I turned it on and it was a big blank blank. Yeah, well, and that was to, it. You got to update the page. You got you got to take it. Well, out. I don't know. I took took the card out and. Yeah. I, I stopped using it. Talk to Minnie. Guess what I went and bought? What? It's right behind me. Avionics. Oh, a hummingbird. Well, yeah. Hummingbird, yeah. I was got a bit upset over that. But the old boat, the half cab out there, is still ready to go with with um, yeah. with Lawrence. I've new- still got the Lawrence sounder because I had a separate. I had a Lawrence uh, sounder mm. and I had a Lawrence um, GPS, yeah. It's the new Lawrences that are out, the TIs that you've got. Ah, you've right. got no, you've got I to think, keep updating. I think them. the Lawrence just they did have some problems oh, two years ago. It gee. just blanked out. It but, didn't do a lot but, of work. But they don't so. even give you any notice. At least they could just say, oh, yeah, look, uh, it, it's time to update. Yeah, your, your, your sounder is going to not work the next two times you go out until, yeah. you, until you update it. But no, it's all of a sudden. You don't want to be out at sea. Yeah. Hold up, hey, it gets better. <laughs> I'm lost. It gets better that day in Swansea. I not only uh, the sounder didn't work, but the 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 anchor, the the um, electric anchor, yep. shat, shat itself. Oh, geez, you blokes so are getting lazy to, with I these electric. To, I, I had to pull everything in by hand. Lazy with these electric uh, anchors. Mate, we're getting hey? old now, oh, Come on, mate. mate. Come on, we're getting old. I'll tell you how lazy I was at Swansea. Yeah. When we fished that comp, that was. Well, we, it didn't happen this year because of COVID. Mm. Back in March, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's the March before. We went out the front and anchored up. Yep. Well, I anchored up on the Min Coda for about three hours. Flat and I'm going, no, no, no. I've, I've got yeah. full 24 yeah, volt yeah. system up the front of the boat. But yeah. then Anthony goes, those blokes over there, um, geez, they're getting some more fish than we are. And they were sort of 20 or 30 metres yep. further, yep. anchored up further down. I said, well, let's line up with them. And I just turned it off for a minute. Drift rolled down. down, got lined up right beside them and just went click. And there I was in line. Like, it, that's how good they are. Like, I've done it up at Yamba. They're brilliant. <clears throat> Fishing the, uh, there's a break wall out in the middle mm. um, along the, it's called the middle wall. And, okay. well, Anthony, I, stay, I say to him, you're I've been to he going to the dark side. He fishes, started fishing with bait. And, yeah. Ripping in all these brim, and oh, we're just letting them go. But I wanted to get a big one on soft plastic. But we were on the Minn Kota along the wall, just move along, lock it. They're a great, yeah. great setup with that spot lock. Yeah, I fish with Daryl, as you know. Well, he got the new one too, yeah. Yeah, yeah and we, we, we've already used it a few times. I'd love to put one on my boat, oh. but uh, I just couldn't be bothered. How's that auto launch? Oh, all right, that's. That's why I took my old Minn Kota off. My old Minn Kota didn't even have a spot lock. Well, that's why Daryl bought and, it. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't bend over it because my buddy back's buggered. Yeah. I couldn't bend over and, and put it out all the time. And I thought, oh, I've got to, I'm going to have to buy one of these auto launches. Well, he's and, a crowdy head one day. He says, watch this bloke put his boat in. He put the boat in and it just kept going out. And next thing you know, the guy's just jumped in, in his car and taken his trailer over and he's come back and he's, he's got the remote control. Remote, we brought it back to him. I did it. Daryl said, "I got to get one." I did. <laughs> I did it at Yamba, but you know, you want to watch some funny videos on YouTube where blokes have launched the boats, yeah. and um, I forgot to turn the Min Coder on, mm. so they're going to get swimming, go and find That's their right boats. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah no, it's, no, no, it's, it's they're a good toy. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy with. Uh, well, you got to put a 24 things. volt system in though, because they're an 80 pound thrust. Yeah, that's right. And they use the 24 volts also with the launch. Yeah, Alan Walker's got the same as Darren. Yeah, well. Alan. Well, they, they had a few issues when they first got them. Uh, Darren had to end up taking his out down to uh, Rockdale. The guy, luckily, the guy's a, a fisherman, and he told Darren the problem, fixed it for him, just like that. You know, what, on the new one. On yeah, the new one. Yeah. yeah, he was having major issues on it. Just, just wasn't starting. Wasn't doing this. Wasn't doing that. Yeah, he, I, I, I ran yeah. into him on the water, and he <clears> said, "Oh, they were down." Oh, well, they went down off North Head, yeah. old man's hat. Yeah. You're going to have a fish yeah. for the kingfish, oh, and, him, yeah. and he said it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't launch. No, and no. anyway, it's all been sorted. It's all fixed now. Must have been something in the software or something in it. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't the software. It was, it was just something simple. Well, you know what happened with mine. I haven't had any problems with it. Mm. Mm. We're, we're out fishing, and when Anthony's caught this 
it's that kingy. Yeah, yeah. Well, all of a sudden, the Minkota starts going crazy. And the other it was, oh. I've had it for a couple of years. I've never bothered to change the batteries in the remote. <laughs> well, a... the remote went flat. Uh... <laughs> Next thing you know, the boat's doing... Oh, doing, no. It was doing hoops. Oh. While I, and I, I'm going... And I'm trying to not swear. We're trying to make a video. And yeah. oh, we're going around in a circle. You're going, Dad, Dad, Dad. You know, it was quite funny, actually. But Did you have spare batteries? No, I had to end up... T- I finally got it to turn off oh. and lifted it up and said, Look, we're drifting with this while you're fighting this fish. Oh. And I wasn't game enough because if you put it down mm. and you can't get it back up... I might start doing the same thing. Well, how again. the hell am I going to get home? Well, I don't get home, but how are you going to get it off on, like, on the trailer? And yeah. Yeah, there yeah, is a yeah, way, yeah, apparently, yeah, you can yeah. de- de-release them, but, yeah, I didn't want it. Oh, I didn't know it was the batteries in the remote until we looked later. They're so, brilliant. They're brilliant to have. Oh, they're great, yeah. yeah. But uh, they, he's got he's got the Altera, which yeah, it's a yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty exactly pricey. the same one. He's pretty pricey. Yeah, yeah. Well, they work and they're worth, Mate. you know, for our age now that we're getting, it's like the cream of the crop. Well, that auto launch, <clears throat> I've been out plenty of times on my own, and I can just spot lock it. And he hasn't done his yet. No, she she should do it. What's that? Well, Daryl, yeah, because I'm trying to you try to get him to fish fish by himself, but. It, uh, he says, no, I need another person with me. Oh, I like yeah. going. Like a, well, I went away with Sue. This was, yeah. well, it's two years Your ago now. Most are small, though. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing, launching them. That, it that, is hard. That is a big boat. It is. I do mine. Mine's 5.22. Yeah. I do everything by myself. Yeah. Everything. Uh, I even bring it back in. I put it back on, on myself as well. I did a trip to Queensland on my own with a, with a bass boat. Yeah. And well, I've got a, I got a winch to pull it out, too, like yeah. electric. Yep. So that yep. makes it a bit easy. Yeah, yeah. No. I bought that online for 165 bucks. Electric winch. Yeah, yeah. to like a, yeah, it's to like a El Cheapo four wheel <laughs> drive thing. Rated it. That's what. It was only like a two or three thousand pound or whatever. Yeah, and it. Walker's got one of those on his boat too. Oh, he's got a big one. Yeah, but he's, yeah. Uh, but he's now since got the, uh, you know, the, the the he's got the uh, the Altera and he's got. Also, the the boat clamp when you drive it up and it's yeah. on. Well, yeah. trouble is that that bass boat of mine. We only just did it the other day. Put some rollers that center it. Yeah. Is because it's so flat that when it goes up the trailer, it starts wanting to skew off either way, mm. and it, you can't drive it on. You, you sort of Anthony drives it up as I pull it up. But yeah, yeah. When I went away on my own, I just pulled it like I just. Walk in, clip, walk it around, clip it on, and then just mm. I bring it up all the way on the mm. on the uh, on the winch. Yeah. Easy. So Easy. yeah. Easy. Yeah, anyway, all... so get back to Jewfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we showed everyone the Navionics, and we um, just letting people know too that uh, you know from now until March, April next year, that's the time to get. That's Jewish. the time to get yeah, out there. Time to get out there. Well, look, that, that's a good thing, if, look, even for me to know. Like, I haven't bait fish for a long time, but yeah. even knowing that you can just go down to these guys' shops and buy the fresh bait. That's right. You know, because you, sometimes you don't have time to go chasing it. And no, you've got to buy it, unfortunately. Buy you it. You've got time to go and chase your bait yourself. Yeah. It's pretty difficult, so that's why these guys are there for, and they do a great job. Um, the guy I told you said he got a 143-centimetre one yesterday. Not only did he get one... He got four. Oh. He caught four Jew yesterday. Yeah. All around the 22 to 27 kilos. Jesus. Let them all go. He kept one. Yeah, yeah. He kept yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so br- brilliant stuff. Yeah. He rang yeah. me and says, why aren't you out there, guys? Because you'd be out there fishing. I said, oh, I haven't had the time to get out there, you know. Yeah, so, so he yeah. went yesterday yeah. or during yeah. the week? No, yesterday. Jesus, was windy too, wasn't it? Remember he I was went, talking? He went, he went early, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So the wind was, was down. Yeah. You know, so, uh, I mean, there's another page for people to look at too. Is that sea breeze? Um, a lot you've of got, people. You've got a lot of pages to look at. I'm like, on, I'm on a f- quite a few of them. I'll bring this up and just show people. This is this is a page called Sea Breeze, which gives you like a seven <clears throat> seven day forecast. But you can go and look at the tide. You can look along the tide there. You can see what it's actually doing live. So, wow. so, yeah. so at the moment you get this on your phone too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good app. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 
Um, I've, got a, I've got a couple of them now. Yeah. That's Scotty Torrington that does the kingfish off out of... Uh, no, no, he I does it he out of Terrigal. Okay, yeah. He told us about it years ago. Yeah. And that's what he uses. So that's what it's been doing all morning. And it gives you the direction and everything. So that's something for people just to have a look at. And it gives you the moon. I think the moon's in on it too or something. Barometric, uh, barometric pressure. That's so Seven-day period. Uh, I'm sure I've seen something on the moon. I think you can go into another bit on it. It's, there's a fair bit on it. And that's Sydney, right? So if you want to go uh, New South Wales, north, mid-north mid coast... North coast. You just click on that, and there you go, Newcastle. Yep. Yep. It just tells you everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's another good it's one. It's all right doing it on the computer, but on your phone it's different. Well, <laughs> um, oh, it, it's, it's pretty good. Look, I don't want to turn my phone on because yeah, no, it, no, no, it no, is no. a good app. It, it, no, I'll just – um, where is it here? That's – see if I can bring this in on this camera. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but um, it's there as one of those apps. I'm just trying to look. Seabreeze might be over here. That's the app there. It's just Seabreeze, and that, that'll bring it, that up on your phone, which is pretty good. So um, Let's have a break for a sec, Tom. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go, go and have a break, and we'll have a bit of a look at that live bait yeah, tank. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's call it, call it for a minute. All right. Too easy. All right, we're back again now. We've just had a look at the um the live bait tank out there. We're going to um I'll I'll put that into the uh, editing later with the camera. Um, Jesus, beautiful, beautiful tank and rods, rod holders on it. You're getting all excited, Tony. Mate, yeah, I'll be. <laughs> yeah, I can see the wallet burning. I'll have to I'll have to hope this COVID goes away so I can make some money. We'll take take a uh, look on the Facebook page there if we can show the viewers. Yep, yep. Uh, I'll, I'll click on that. <clears throat> and this, sorry about the bait board, guys, but that's me fishing uh, with the new bait board. All on, I've used squid for bait there, so I've got a lot of ink all on there. But you can see how I've got two rods out to the side and two rods out the front, and I've still got one spare there in the middle as well. So I usually yeah. four rods up. Uh, that's a nice little spot I fish. Up, up in the Hawkesbury. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It was still winter there, so I didn't really catch anything that day. So you've, how long have you had the bait <coughs> tank now? Oh, I've done only a, a couple of months now. Yeah? Yeah, I've oh, just, right. just used it a few times. haven't been out much in my boat. And this guy's a member in the... Um... Yeah, Sasha. Yeah, Sasha's yeah. a good bloke, yeah. yeah he's, oh, it's he's, good, isn't it? He's, he's in there. So how about we talk about <coughs> the um, your rig setups and your bait and that sort of thing then? <coughs> well, you can see I've got four rods hanging out there. Yep. I've got... Four Saragosas on there. I've got an 8,000, 10,000, 6,000 and a 5,000. So basically what I'm using, I'm using braid. I'm using uh, on the 6 and the 5,000, I use 7.5 kilo line, 7.5 kilo braid. Yep. And on the uh, 8 and the 10,000, I use uh, 10 kilo. 10 so kilo. You're, not, you're not going? No, you don't need to. So, see, so where I'm fishing in the rivers there is uh, I fish where you fish. They've got open water, yeah. So yeah. they can't take you to any reefs nah, or anything nah. like that unless you get a fifty kilo fish that's going to just spool you. Yeah, you know. But so it, it gives you enough room there. That's where you need to cut the anchor rope. And <coughs> well, chase it. you got to chase it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, 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 and then on those, I, I, I have traces. So I have. I use the the, the snell rig, uh, which is a two hook rig, yep. which I've done a live video, live feed for the show the viewers, yep, the members, and then I um. I, I have a little dropper a dropper for the for the sinker, and that that line I'm using on that main line is about most probably twenty kilo, yeah. it's forty pound. Yep. Um, uh, I have known been known to fish with a twenty five hundred reel, Sarah, a Stratic, and I've caught a couple of good fish on the. Yeah, on, geez, that'd be 20. a bit of fun. Wouldn't it was it? a bit of fun. Yeah, it was on, but it was on once again. It was on. Uh, it was on, it was on five kilo line. So you um, only use a. Yeah. Um, you use obviously a lighter line for your sinker in case it snags up. I do. Yeah, yeah. use yep. just, just a ten pound line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just, a, just, just in case. Uh, That's a bit of a tip get, for people get, to yeah. know. If, if, if the fish, if the fish gets caught up somewhere, or the sinker gets caught on, on a on a rock or two or something, that'll yep. snap off, and the yeah. fish, fish will just play, go freely. Yep. 
uh, the the uh, rods I use are around the uh, uh, four to eight kilo rods. Yep. Uh, I've got a couple of ugly sticks there, which are my favourite. I, I can never go past the ugly stick. That one yeah, there. Not a bad old oh, rod. They're, yeah. They're brilliant. They're br- they're brilliant design. Yeah. That one on the right there, as, we, as we're looking at the photo, that's the one uh, Quincy got his good meter meter two fish on. Yep. I've since invested in a couple of other rods, uh, but uh, yeah, but I find it that the the, the uh, Saragos is a, 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 a just a a well made reel for that this type of fishing. Yeah. You know, so right. I've, that's why I've got the variety. I can go light. I can go heavy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and they're brilliant. And the Snell rig I use, I, I use strip baits with squid mainly most of the time, or I use, if I get a nice good palm size, I'll, I'll just uh, put a whole one out. Yep. Uh, and this is what people don't know, Tony, is they, a lot of people, <clears throat> they'll put a whole squid out on a Snell rig or, or, or a gang hawk or whatever I'll use, and I'll come back and they'll bring it in 20 minutes later and the head's gone. It's yeah. It's been nibbled off. And then they'll yeah. just throw that piece of bait away. They won't throw it away. They'll keep it aside. And they'll put another piece of bait on. Well, yeah, and then the brim come along and, well, 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 and the smaller fish. Well, well that's right. This is, so my, my whole idea is is you, you don't do that. No. Nah. That piece of bait that you just brought in with the head gone, you did then just strip it, yep. cut it into strips, and then use two two pieces of uh, squid dangling off the, yep. off the two snells. And the amount of time you'll catch two fish is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You know, fresh squids, it still does the same thing as whole squid, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, so I use a, I use a round of a size between a size 9 and a size 6 hook, 6 Yep. Yep. Uh, depending on the, on, the, on the area I'm fishing, of course. Uh, I've got a lot of stories that we could go, but I uh, just don't have time for that. That's most probably another day, but... Uh, that's that that this, this area where I'm fishing here is mainly where I get a lot of my jewfish, right? Um, yeah, so it's a, so you put the photo up with the mist so no yeah. one can see where you're at. Well, <laughs> people who know me that they actually yeah. that boat in front of me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good old Tony. Yeah, that's Tony. So Tony and his son, uh, they they old, old fiberglass. <laughs> Geez, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's, that's they've the, been around mm, that style of boat. He, he, waved me, he waved to me as I was coming in. He goes, hey, Gaz, I went, who the hell's that? He goes, it's Tony. He goes, normally I'm used to seeing Tony. He's one of the locals. Yep. And I'm used, used to seeing him in his um, uh, little tinny. Oh, He's right. Got yep. him and his son, Ronan, yeah. So yeah. That, that was Tony. Yeah, it was good. That was in winter. You know, so yep. uh, I just went out just to see if there was any around. Uh, there was none around, of course. Uh, but uh, no. Uh, so, yeah. And we've also... I was going to say, next uh, Friday, next Friday, we're actually taking a uh, two prize winners. I had I put, about last month or the month before, I put out, we had a couple of prize winners, uh, one for the best fish or something like that, or uh, one, guys that want to learn. Yeah. You know, yeah so we yep. ran a little competition and uh, and one one was to, uh, to tell us your why you want to come fishing with me. Or you want to come fishing with me? And I've got a mate that I fish with now. Is Tony Tony Mitchell? Yep, a great bloke, fantastic bloke. So. These Tony blokes seem to be popular. Yeah, yes, Tony. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, and and we and he says, look, Gaz, I want to help the page out. He's got a nice six 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 meter six and a half meter seafarer. Uh, so we go out in that, and uh, we we. we we, we've already taken one prize winner out, and he had a blast. And, we, and it was, this was in winter. Yeah. We got first cast. He got a Dewey. You know, it was only, oh, right. it was only 60, 65 centimetres, but it was it was him giving the rod to him to let him bring it in and just to show him what they're like, you know. Yeah. And he, he had a field day. He, 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 he thought it was the best things in sliced bread, you know. And we showed him how to rig up, what to look for, how to, you know, how to uh, uh, position your rods and... Yeah, where you throw your lines, your baits, you just don't throw them all together. You no, cast them not. out separately. You've you got to get them apart. Yeah, that's right. And co- cover ground. Well, the other thing is too, you got the current. No, well, in this particular oh, area no, where we, I yeah, fish, yeah. there's not, not much current, nah. but it, it's just perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so when we've got a, we've got a couple of prize winners we're taking out on on um, on uh, Friday. All oh, right. The, next next Friday. Yeah. So it should be interesting. Hopefully, yeah. we can get them onto a fish. Yep. Uh, if we could do that, oh god, that would be really, really good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's my that's my that's my light bait tank there. Yep. Bring yeah. that back up. Good yeah. Old, good old Sash does a great job. Mate, it's a beautiful tank. Uh, and they see the snapper rack too. You can just see that. How yeah. They, how that just slots in. 
There's a side you've got one, two, Jesus. three, four, five, yeah. He does good work. Mm. That's good stainless work. I mean, I can tig a little bit. But, but you can see how how I'm, everything's out of my way. I love to fish in the corner of the boats. So yeah. I can pick up the rod and I can play this fish in the corner still. Well, you can go to either side, yeah, that's can't right, you? That's right. You yeah. can just move a rod around if, it, if it's on a centre rod there. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You can put the outside rod yep. into yep. the centre yep. and step into the back corner. Yep. Now, let me tell you the other thing too is, is there's a couple of companies out there that are making these and they're nowhere, nowhere as good as these. Yeah. He's welding... Is just first. Oh, I've had class. a look. Yeah, I'd look when it's we just, out there doing that he video welds before. It and he welds it properly. These other guys just half weld them. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, no, he's done. Made it. Done a beautiful job. Yeah. So um, and then um, I always take a uh, I have a little uh, line sitting out the back, hoping to catch some uh, little herring that that are up there, live herring. Yeah. Yeah. Some little yellow tail. We try. Here's the herring too for bait. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because well, I was going to say, Joey's love the herring. Not the we, herring that you would get in the pan. No, but we get them at Lower Portland in the. Oh yeah, yeah. These are the wide, the wide-bodied ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're up and down this system all the yeah. time. Yeah. So the yeah, Jewish, we get them up there when I've <clears throat> been trying to catch the potty mullet too. Yeah, Jewies love to get, they love to eat those as well. There's a couple of guys I went out. They were on a charter that we went on years ago. Yeah. One of them lived mm. near the Sackville Ferry, mm. and we got talking about bait and that. And he says, "Oh, mate, those little herring." He said, "They're great for Dewey bait." I, I, t- I did a trip a trip from Windsor down to Sackville Ferry. Yep. And when I got to Sackville Ferry, I, I, I just cruised around there near the edges. My God, the amount of fish that were on the sounder, the amount of bait balls I've seen on the sounder. Yeah. Unbelievable. Prawns, mate. Yeah. I well, they're, that, they're not allowed up that far either for prawning. Yeah. They yeah. were unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, wow, this has got to be Jewfish heaven. Well, you know the big cliff... Just near the ferry, you look up okay. as you're coming down yeah, river. Yeah. He, that guy lives up on that cliff. Beautiful wow. spot, yeah. You want to jump off there? Mate, <laughs> oh, it's a fair way up too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's just a photo of that and yeah. what I do. And as I say, with the baits, it's it's either squid or it's yellowtail, butterflied. Yep. So I, I catch a lot of mullet in the pen. I use those. I use strips. Strip, strip baits, mullet, yeah. Yeah, strip baits for mullet. Uh, have a lot of success on all all types of baits. Yeah. It's getting it's it's then that's the, the beauty of of having your four rods as well. You can you could you could use three or four different baits. Put one of each out and see what they want to go well, for. Well, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I generally put two squid, one hole and, and yep. one strip. Yep. And then the other one will be a mullet and and a yellowtail. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Try to use those. One day I was fishing there off Bar Point, and you wouldn't believe it. I I put three rods out. I, I, I put three dew rods out. The other rod was my brim rod, my nine yeah, foot. I think yeah. you may have seen that. It's a nine foot rod and a uh, ten pound line. We, I put some uh, garlic chicken and parmesan. Oh yeah, the old yeah. garlic chicken parmesan. Little, little hook, bit. little little yeah, number you four. Know, well, of course, the brim are on. See, yeah, you would not believe this, Tony. But bang, the 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 estuary rod goes off the nine footer with the chicken, <coughs> and then all of a sudden, bang, bang, bang. The whole four rods went off. Four Jew, four Jew landed. Jeez. Yep, yep. Oh, Were you on your own? I was on my own. On my own, landed the whole four of them. That would have been an exciting mess it to was, watch. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was a mess, um, but I landed the whole four. Not the, There was two that were 63, 64 or something like that, and the other two were 76 and 79 yeah. or something like that. Oh, jeez, it was fun. It was fun. I don't think a lot of people realise how many Jewfish are in the Hawksbury. Oh, it's, like, it's full of it. If you get up that end where we are and certain times of the year, you just yeah. got to, like the, the the little soapies. Yeah. Mate, every five seconds. And so obviously that's the nursery, you know, where they've sort of... It does get annoying I'm sort of, when, I'm, when I'm you start s- catching them. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, you, you, sometimes you. Where do the Jewies breed? They breed up river or down? Yeah, they breed, they must, yeah, they must breed, breed offshore up. as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they go out offshore chasing all the bait fish and all that, and then they come back in. And some of the big girls stay there in winter. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, pro boats that um, do do uh, their hires, and uh, they they generally catch a lot of fish during the winter. Yeah. Yeah, they're using plastics. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. It's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it's going to be my thing. I enjoy. I want to get up the Hawkesbury and chase them on the plastics. A well, bit you too. know me. Uh, how I used to. All I used to target was brim, brim, and, and uh, yeah, mainly brim in the yeah. in the in the, in the uh, Hawkesbury. 
Uh, never since I th- got the passion to go back to dew fishing again. Oh, well, this has been it. That's all I've been targeting. Yeah, yeah. You, you and Daryl used to do it many, many oh, years ago, didn't you? Yeah, well, you'd, never, you'd try and ring us. Where are we? Oh, we're on the water. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to ring us because there was no phones in those days. No. Yeah. No. Oh, we used to fish 40 weekends a year. We had no reception. Yeah. Uh, on um, the Hawkesbury anywhere for well, years, even when phones were around. Yeah. It's just slightly, it's got, yeah. the reception's got better. Yeah, well, 40 weekends a year we fished. We used to fish weekends. <laughs> the weekend would come because we're yeah. both carpet cleaners. Yeah. So, right, let's go today. We're off. See you girls. Leave the wife and the kids together. So that was it. So your carpet cleaning business, what's it called? It's called Blue Mountains Carpet Dry Cleaning and Upholstery Cleaning. Oh, right, services. you've got Blue Mountains. Yeah, I work up there, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's it's really. We better give Daryl a plug here too for yeah power clean power clean yeah, yeah. carpet Darryl, cleaning. Daryl's a great bloke. He, yeah. um, he 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 helps me out as well. Oh, he's work, good. work that Daryl can't do because uh, he's a steam cleaner. I'm a dry cleaner. Yeah. So work he can't do, he passes on to me. Yeah. And I look after the customers. So yep. yeah, it's good. Yeah, have a have a good time. You know, actually, before I came here, I went and did a quote that he gave me. So how far? Uh, up the mountain, I go all the way up the Mount Victoria. All oh, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. We go that far with the with the cool rooms. Yeah. yeah. Oh, someone rang me from Lithgow. I'd most probably go if it was worth yeah. the money. Yeah. Well, we go to Lithgow. Um, yeah. With the weddings and that. Yeah. Mm. I I even go to Bathurst for the car races, which is on this weekend, <laughs> well, on which this is weekend. nothing. Not a no. not a thing. Nah. No, no one's allowed. It's very quiet. Mate, it's like a terrible ghost town up there this, oh, this time of year. That's that'd be killing the. Yeah, business up. Oh there. yeah, yeah, it's killed it for the first time in decades. Yeah, it's terrible. But uh, we've yeah. got to live through this. Oh yeah, we'll be right. Yeah, we'll all struggle. We'll all work together. Pop but, out the other side. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. Uh, I can't wait. I just can't wait to get back out on the water. Yeah, well, it's starting to warm up, isn't it? Well, I'm even thinking of you got me going now, Tony. I might even go out this afternoon. <laughs> I'll ring the other Tony and see what he wants yeah. to do. All right, we might get him before this. Uh, before this. Um, Weather bad comes. This bad weather comes in. See if we can sneak a sneaky session in. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be excellent. So, what do you say if you were going to get this afternoon? You got bait ready to go, or do you drop in and pick oh, some t- up? Tony's got it. All oh, right, mate. Yep. Tony, he's got everything ready to go. I yep. don't have to take anything really. I just take a couple of rods. All oh, right, he's got the. What you go on his boat? Yeah, go on his boat. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. right. It's just, yeah, we just all pitch in with each other. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, good, good company. Well, actually, we were supposed to be going tomorrow down to Balambi, going to catch snapper, but uh, uh, it's going to be a bit. Yeah, the weather's tomorrow is pretty crap, so I don't know how the waves are going to be. Yeah, well, we've decided just to. If you have a look on your little chart there, I was just going to see uh, where it shows. What's tomorrow, Sunday? This is this is off. I can. I'll bring it up in a sec. I'll, I won't go to it. Hang on, uh, Illawarra. Yep, Illawarra. I'll bring that up. This is a great little um, thing here. So your waves tomorrow, three meters, or well, Sunday, three, you're looking at three meters, isn't it? No, one one point four the waves. Yeah, but the, the, what's that? The, what's the other one? The wind is it? So you got your wind is oh, ten wind. knots. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Oh. Well, that's that's a point perpendicular. They're well, saying that one. I have to get out there. It's still, it's yeah. still fishable. And the wind, uh, yeah, fourteen, fifteen knots. That's sort of in the afternoon. That's at 6 p.m. So in the morning... She's dropped right off and then picks up about 8, 9 o'clock or something. Yeah, well, I come back a bit further and it's... That's Saturday. We're back here. Just come back a little. There's AM. So you'll, you'll win 10 knots, 10 knots. Yeah, it's about 10 knots, sort of. Anyway, we'll have, we'll have a look. That's a great little... Um, Sea brew is a good thing to go and look at. We'll have a look and see. See if I'll, I'll give him a call. Yeah, yeah, we see. might go out for a dewfish session. Who knows? Yeah, we might um go out and have a look at this live bait tank. Yeah, well, we'll go and do the video part of. It. We had a look at it before. This is a nice tank. Oh, I can't. <laughs> right, Danny. Mate, right. Yeah, I've got to do a bit of work on this half cab. <laughs> I've got to revive it. We might wrap the show up, eh? Yeah, I think so, mate. Thanks yeah. everyone for watching and um. If anyone, get, well, I'll, I'll, just if you get viewers on this, Tony, on your on the on the uh, YouTube channel, just uh, anyone's got any questions or anything like that, they want to know about the Hawkesbury Hawkesbury River Dewfish, yeah, you know, feel free to join the page, ask me questions. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. all for it. Love it. I love the feedback. Yep. I get people asking me questions all the time. Speak of the devil. 
someone's asking a question now. Yeah, I might just answer this. All right. Well, we might cut the show off there, yeah. eh? Yep. Thanks for coming, Gary. All right, Tony. I've Thank had a you ball. Very much. Yep. See you guys. Hang on. Just Gaz is on the phone. Just All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching the um, first podcast we put out. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, click that bell notification. Also, give us a likes, thumbs up on the like button. Um, we're going to try and do these podcasts. You know, maybe we get one a month in. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe every two weeks. We'll just see who we can get on and what we can do. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.